showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton for Lorda. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Uspa. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. 
The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by the top. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is a funny shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. And potentially a critical takedown here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Usman. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 44 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best walking away from the world, he may just be the toughest well to wait the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice defense there, huge block. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. And they separate. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Whoa! Oh, big knee. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round. Two things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick, and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Here we go now with round two. Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Usman gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Nice takedown there. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now he's been really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You gotta hip escape. You gotta do something to get you out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. Goes out of control to hit. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 53 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. And in terms of the accuracy rate, DC landing at a 59% clip thus far tonight against Kamaru Usman. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Big knee. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Single collar. That is now the scramble, folks. 
just out of the Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Edwards. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Body kick now by Edwards. Switch, he lands to the body. Big punch lands. Ooh. We approach the one minute mark here in the second round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards, and as usual, DC letting this fighting do the talking tonight. Letting this fight do the talking means it's all business. Usman gets another takedown. The question now: What will he do with it? He's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He can oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got hurt here. Oh! oh what a sweep! Back to the feet. Oh! Oh! Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym. Oh, oh man, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. So the numbers thus far, unofficial they may be. But 84 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy rate against the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Edwards' is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he sh Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Three rounds.
John's in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Stop. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra three minutes is not... Oh! Oh! for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt for the knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 23 seconds of round number four. He's playing the winner by knockout and move. So he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you gotta take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight. And you gotta take your hat off to him for staying focused for so long and getting it done.